this is such a such a tragedy and 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 what makes it even worse it was it didn't have to happen Lee Jackson has worked as a crash and accident investigator in Texas for almost 40 years, but reviewing this footage made him emotional. That certainly is a violent impact, isn't it? It looks like he's really right in the middle of the road. Uh, and I don't see, I don't see the driver's face at this point. Normally what you would see at this point is the truck driver uh, in complete panic mode. And, and I don't see that here, which leads me to believe that he's uh, he's drifted over the side of the road and he's unaware of it. In court documents obtained first by CBS Austin, we learned Jerry Hernandez was driving the cement pump truck that hit the Hayes CISD school bus on March 22nd, resulting in the deaths of five-year-old Ulises Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace. As soon as I see the phrase three hours of sleep, that concerns me greatly. The court documents show Hernandez admits to officers he only got three hours of sleep the night before the crash and smoked marijuana around 10 p.m. On the morning of the crash at 1 a.m., Hernandez says he consumed cocaine. Smoking marijuana, which of, of course uh, is a depressant, that's going to make him more, much more likely to be falling asleep uh, than, um, uh, than anything else. The cocaine, of course, is a stimulant. The mix of marijuana and lack of sleep, Jackson says. And that would certainly explain the the fatigue would explain the drifting and oncoming traffic. This is should not have happened. Uh, and and there, there's families that are really seriously hurting right now. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.